There's more advanced technology in your phone than it took to get America to the moon. The apps and games of today were the subject of science fiction just 30 years ago. But with technology changing so fast, it can be hard to know what's going to happen next or where the next threat is going to come from. As someone raised with advanced modern technology, you have experience that experts a few decades ago would never have imagined. And you're going to have opportunities to turn that experience into a profitable career. This presentation is a quick introduction to the growing field of cybersecurity and how to get started on the path to a cybersecurity job. Cybersecurity is usually defined as the use of techniques or skills to protect data, networks, and systems from attack. Everyone knows someone who's been hacked or has had their identity stolen or even just lost control of their Facebook for a few hours. And there's always bigger attacks in the news. Data breaches at major companies means that millions of people can have their data stolen and sold on the black market. Hackers can use this data to make money, find more data to sell, or even ruin their victims' lives just for the fun of it. That's where cybersecurity comes in. Cybersecurity experts are the ones who are able to fight cyber criminals on their own turf, stopping them from accessing important information and keeping people safe. There's currently a cybersecurity skills shortage in the United States. There simply aren't enough people to fill all of the available jobs, and the problem keeps getting bigger. See, hackers don't have to be smart. The internet is full of tutorials about how to use pre-made scripts and attacks to wreck someone else's day. Most hackers don't know a lot about computers and don't take time for special training or study. They just grab that pre-made script and go cause a mess. That means there's millions of low-level hackers out there. Cybersecurity experts, on the other hand, are fewer but more valuable. They've taken the time to study a problem and know how to use their talents. That means cybersecurity experts can be harder to find and they're desperately needed. Think of it this way. Even if an enemy hacker is only level one, 50 enemies can still overrun a fortress. You need at least one level 50 cybersecurity expert to beat them all. Here are a few of the many kinds of jobs that you might see in the cybersecurity field. Graphic designer. Michelle is an artist. She works for a cybersecurity firm designing posters and creating eye-catching images to teach people about security. Social engineering trainer. Lee is an actor. He understands how to portray emotion and tell a convincing story, so he teaches other people how to tell when someone is lying or trying to scam them. Network security admin. Joe likes puzzles and problem solving. She's good at spotting when something doesn't fit a pattern. So she monitors the computer networks and is the first to see when a hacker is trying to break in. Social media consultant. Hendrick was on Tumblr before anyone else. He always knows what's trending before it even trends and has seen all the scam emails and messages that get sent around. He works as a consultant explaining the possible dangers of social media to people who don't know much about it. Ethical Hacker Adam used to want to be a hacker. Instead, he joined up with a security firm and became an ethical hacker, which lets him do the same thing legally. Adam's job is to play the role of cyber criminal, testing targeted systems and seeing if he can break into them. If you think cybersecurity sounds like a good fit for you, then great. You're in for a wild ride with a lot of challenges and opportunities. Here's a few things you can do to start preparing for a career in cybersecurity. Take courses online. There are a lot of online training programs like Coursera. Remember though that many programs are scams and don't offer real certifications. So always research the course and double check with your parents to be sure you're getting a real program. Practice, practice, practice. Play with code and talk to other people who are interested in computers and security. Find a mentor. Ask your teacher or a family member who knows about cybersecurity if they'll mentor you. See if you can arrange a visit to a local technology company and ask about what kind of attacks they have to deal with. You'll hear some good stories. Join a camp. Many organizations offer tech boot camps to teach you the basics of security, programming, and even ethical hacking. Participate in competitions. Challenges such as the Global Cyber Olympics will give you a chance to test your skills against other people of varying skill levels, and prizes include free courses, streaming video, and cash. 
This skills gap means that you have a very valuable opportunity. Chances are you've grown up with a PC, a smartphone, a tablet, or all three. If you're 18, you could have 12 years of experience using a computer, and that means you already know things that older generations have had to be trained on. And let's be honest, the money can be pretty good too. The one thing that most intimidates people about cybersecurity or any computer job is the idea that you need to know how to program a computer. While understanding and writing code can be very valuable skills, a lot of employers would prefer someone who's smart and willing to learn over someone who can do code and nothing else. Often, the answer is yes. A bachelor's degree in computer science, for example, can be very helpful in understanding cybersecurity. However, if you don't want to go to college, you can still learn a lot of things on your own that will make it easier to break into cybersecurity. Thanks to the internet, you have an incredible amount of information at your fingertips. Today, we went over the basics of cybersecurity and cybersecurity careers. We reviewed what cybersecurity is and why it's a growing industry, as well as a few of the jobs that are open for different skill sets. Finally, we went over what you can do to be a part of the cybersecurity field. Thanks for taking the time for our presentation.